And October marks Breast Cancer Awareness Month, where we often talk about prevention and treatment. But one thing that often gets left out of the discussion is the recovery after the cancer is gone. Our Griffin Wright joins us live from Unity Point Health with the story of how one breast cancer survivor got her life going again after treatment. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Andy. So the side effects from cancer treatment can be serious and debilitating. And I spoke with a survivor who knows that better than anyone. And she shared her story of how she overcame adversity. When it comes to cancer, we tend to focus on the treatment, but what isn't talked about is the toll that treatment takes on the body and the long road to recovery once the cancer is gone. I didn't realize going into it how, uh, how much it affects. It affects pretty much every system in your body. That's Arlen Morris. She was diagnosed with breast cancer and started treatment back in August of 2021. She started with chemotherapy, then surgery, and finally radiation, which resulted in a serious infection. When the cancer was gone, Morris was left with serious side effects. The breast cancer and some of the other things I had going on with um, an infection and the damage from that, um, my whole left side essentially turned to concrete. I figured I would go through it, be done with it, deal with the side effects, snap right back to what I was before, and that's not the reality. It takes a long time to recover from the side effects. But Morris didn't lose hope. She turned to Unity Point Health's physical therapy at Penn Avenue, which provides physical therapy tailored specifically to help cancer patients, a relatively new field of medicine. Definitely something that's uh, that's newer in the realm of, of therapies, and um, I think in the last 10 years, it has really started to gain a foothold and it's still growing. Morris started physical therapy in June of this year and so far the results have been life changing. When we first started, I could hardly move my arm away from my body, but now I'm to the point where I can get not full range yet, but pretty good. And so some of these other exercises like that with one side, you know, I can go all the way up and then on the side that I've had the issues with, I can get about there. And so part of it is I would walk my hand up a wall and see how far I could get and then hold it there for a while and then slide it back down. Morris attends therapy multiple times a week and has two to three hours of exercises to do at home every day. When she's at Unity Point's clinic, she works with multiple therapists on all parts of her body affected by the cancer treatment. But one thing that's made all the difference for Morris is having a positive attitude. Being surrounded by people that um, you can find something positive in anything, no matter how horrendous it is, you can find something positive in it. And I think having that attitude makes a big difference, especially in the healing part of it. Uh, I think attitude is as much a, a healer as some of the other, the medicines and the therapies and things too. And the oncology programs, physical therapists, aren't only there to work on physical wounds. It definitely um, is a bright spot in, in people's lives because they, they know they can come here, they can be themselves, they can share their difficulties, you know, whether it be physical, emotional, spiritual, um, our therapists are there for them. For Morris and many other cancer patients, the pain didn't end once their sutures had healed and their chemo was finished. But thanks to the work of physical therapists, they don't need to live with the side effects of cancer treatment for the rest of their lives. So if you are dealing with those side effects from cancer treatment, it may be worth calling your doctor and seeing if physical therapy is an option that can help you. Just remember that keeping a positive attitude like Arlen Morris can really make a huge difference. Quite an example there. Thank you for sharing that story with us this morning, Griffin.